talking about multiplying rates. All right, let's take a look at some examples. Five cents for one pencil. Kind of looks like a fraction. But the thing that makes it different than a fraction is you can write this another way and have it mean exactly the same thing. All right? I can write it this way, one pencil for 95 cents. And those mean exactly the same thing. They, they describe the same thing. Now, can you do that with a fraction? Is 95 equal to 1 95th? No. No, it's not. So that's why rates are a bit different than just the fractions, although we will work with them similarly. You can flip them, and they still describe the same situation. And by the way, these are referred to as reciprocal rates. When you, when you flip them, this right here, I'll put in parentheses, is the reciprocal, reciprocal rate to this one. 22.7 MPG. What does that stand for? Miles per gallon. Sometimes rates aren't even written out so that they look like fractions. Um, they're just written out with abbreviated codes, so to speak. All right, now what would the reciprocal rate for this rate Miles per gallon, remember the per is the fraction bar. Right, one gallon will take you 22.7 miles for um, sections per clip. Sometimes they use the diagonal fraction bar. All right, these are all rates. Now, can anybody give me the reciprocal rate for this one? Yeah. Per 324 sections. Yeah. The whole purpose today, though, is to take these things and multiply them. When multiplying rates, units are multiplied as if they were numerical fractions. So important, I'd like you to box it. But without seeing an example, I don't think it's going to make much sense to you. Okay, so you guys have um, about Jason. Beats. All right, when he is sitting there at rest in math class, okay. We're going to come over here, and I'm going to take his pulse, and Caitlin is going to tell me when to say go. Good, Mike. 21 times 4. Ooh. What's 21 times 4? 21 times 4. 84. Who said 80? Ooh, babe. Of course, he was probably nervous out the wazoo having the teacher hold his hand. But he, he had to be nervous with me touching him like that. I mean, wouldn't you? Okay, so Jason's heart beats 84 times per minute. How many times will it beat in our 40 math class? Let's write down what we know. It's beating 84, all right, we got 84 beats per one minute. So that's our control rate. That's happening with this young man over and over and over again. Okay, now we want to be left with beats and we want the minutes to cancel. So I need to know what do I multiply by here? Well, 40, let's just say minutes. See, what happens here is, you know, the, the previous statement I said was the units act like numerical fractions. And the question is, how many times will it beat? So beats are not allowed to cancel, but minutes can cancel. So we're going to have minutes canceling. And this is 40 minutes for one class, right? So that's the rate. And I'll get beats per class then. You guys all see this? The thing that's neat is the units will cancel just like regular fractions. So 84 times 40, Logan, you have it? 60 beats. And that's going to be per one class. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, I have read recently that you have to burn 3,500 calories to lose a pound. <coughs> How long do I have to sit down there without eating, sit down there at my computer in my basement to lose two pounds? We're going to set this one up. Suggestions for one hour. Okay. Now, we're going to multiply that by something. I'll see how long. I need hours. I need to be left with hours. Let's see. 3,500 
3,500 calories to lose one pound. Let's just try this. 3,500 calories to lose one pound. And I want to lose two pounds. Two pounds. All right, I've got a problem here. Is anything going to cancel the way it's set up? Okay, pounds will cancel. I'll be left with calories, calories per hour. Is that going to help me? Oh, what do I have to be left with? Mm. Okay. All right. Well, how could I rearrange this so that the calories would go? If I switch this one, if I switch this one, maybe it'll work. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's take the reciprocal rate. Let's put one hour here for 52 calories times 3,500 calories for one pound, and I want two pounds. Well, actually, the question just said, how long must you work to lose two pounds? So maybe if I leave this up here, even though the pounds will cancel and the calories will cancel, will I be left with a number of hours to achieve this two pounds? Okay, and maybe that's really what the question's asking. And I wanted you to see this with these rate problems, most of the time, unless you have a really, really easy one, you've got to play with it a little bit like we are doing right here. So don't ever feel bad if the first way you write it out needs to be erased and tweaked a little bit with recipient times 3,500 times 2. You have that? Okay, so we're going to get 7,000, let's see what the units would be, hours. 7,000 hours divided by 52 on the bottom. Okay, what does that mean? I rounded that, so I better make this approximately. What did I say, 134.6? Yes. Okay, 134.6, holy tamole. That's hours. All right, just humor me for a moment. Take that number and divide it by 24. How many days would I have to go without eating? Five. Ah, do you think that this chip can go five days without eating? No, so it's not happening. No, it is super not happening. Oh, okay, but there you go. So, so you know, working on your wiki is not the way to lose.